impact of event of mouth marketing in social network sites on purchase intention with special reference to Sri Lankan fashion clothing market. Authors are Professor B.N.A. Farnakul Suri and H.P.S. Gallagay. Gallag H.P.S. Gallagay will make the presentation. Good morning, session chair, uh, dean of the faculty, uh, lecturers, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to present you about the impact of e word of mouth marketing, specifically happen in the social network sites on the purchase intention. And uh, this study especially referred to the fashion clothing market in Sri Lanka. So this is the content of the presentation which comprised of eight parts. And if I move on to the background of the study, Mm. Development of the internet has enabled people to pass word of mouth communication and which is referred to as e-word of mouth marketing, uh, which is an extension of word of mouth marketing. So many people rely on the information and use information that they get through this e-word of mouth uh, sources. So e-word of mouth marketing can happen in many digital medias such as websites, um, uh, blogs, chat forums, and uh, content communities. So in this study, we are specifically focusing on social network sites. And if we take the Sri Lankan market, Sri Lankan industries, fashion clothing industry is heavily using the social network sites or these digital medias to promote their products to their consumers. So it's very important to see whether there is an impact from these particular sources for consumer decision making. Therefore, the objective of this study is to examine the impact of e word of mouth marketing on purchase intention of fashion clothing. If I move on to the e word of mouth marketing definitions, um, it can be any positive or negative statement made by customers. And these positive or negative statements will be available for many other customers and many other institutes via the internet medias. So uh, we have passed the landscape of one-to-many communication, one-to-one -one communication, rigorous literature review, and um, discriminant validity was tested by using AVE values, and um, construct validity was ensured by using factor loadings. Let's move on to the reliability. Each of these I, uh, dimensions have the number of items, which is if the items are more than two, we can use Cronbach alpha. And if the Cronbach alpha value is more than 0.7, we can uh, prove that these measurements are reliable. So you all can see all these alpha values are more than seven. So which is, which can be concluded that this is reliable. And if I move on to the validity, uh, this is the factor loading where each of these uh, dimensions or the items that we have used have represented the dimensions more than 50%, which is which ensured the validity. And the KMO value is 0.6, which ensured that the sample is adequate. Since the KMO value is more than 0 0.7, the sam sampling adequacy was there. So these were the factor loadings. As you all can see, all the factors were loaded into four dimensions properly. Uh, for example, TS1, tie strength 1, tie strength 2, tie strength 3. The items that we used to measure tie strength was loaded into the tie strength dimension, uh, so on and so forth, as you all can see in this particular slide. So factors were loaded into these dimensions, and we can ensure that this is valid. So in order to analyze data, in order to find out the impact, we, uh, we used the regression analysis and we calculated beta values. So all the beta values were positive and you can see the beta values in the table and they were significant also and r squared value is 0.713 let me explain this uh, uh, the findings so then um, we developed this particular model where the purchase intention is the dependent variable and all the other independence variable has a positive impact towards the uh, purchase intention where tie strength homophily trust and interpersonal influence 
has a positive impact over purchase intent and since the beta values are positive and among those beta values you all can see that 0 0.529 which is the interpersonal in influence has the highest impact towards the purchase intention. But still males are the highly impacted category than females from e word of mouth marketing in the fashion clothing industry. And teenagers are highly influenced from e word of mouth marketing than other age groups. So that's also another finding as you all can see the D value in the uh, age category. And when the level of education decreases, the impact from e word of mouth marketing is also increased. Or else when the level of education increase, the impact that we can create towards their purchase intention is much more low. So it is found that e-word of mouth marketing has a greater impact over purchase intention. And um, this is also validated from Park in 2007 that there is a positive relationship between these two. And uh, people's willingness to get information from others has the highest impact, which is the interpersonal influence. And this is also validated from different scholars in 2005 and 2011. Uh, so uh, trust among groups is also having a major impact and tie strength among the group has the relatively lesser impact and in some cases, cases it has found that there's a negative impact from tie strength or the bond between members. Uh, the, the scholar that I referred uh, has found that there is a negative impact. So um, when I move on to the recommendations, we can recommend that companies or organizations should consider e word of mouth marketing as a necessary element in their integrated communication mix or in their promotional mix. And uh, for people who seek more information from online sources, especially the interpersonal influence that I'm highlighting here, uh, for those people we can influence them by using this social media advertising and from that we can create e word of mouth marketing. And especially fashion clothes promoted for men, teenagers, uh, can use e-board of mouth marketing communication tools in order to influence their purchase decisions. So uh, th these are the recommendations uh, in my presentation. Thank you very much.